Only so much time. Left. What's up, guys? I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. This is Michigan affiliated. This is from Middle Coast Brewing. Brewery or Brewing Co.? Don't Brewing. know. Brewing. Brewing out of Traverse City, Michigan, our neighbor. But I don't think they're like. What? I don't think they're out of Traverse, are they? Um, so they have two locations, okay, I think. So One they, in Florida? They used to be called Monkey Fist. And then they, like, rebranded to Middle Coast. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. And there was, like, some kind of infringement on the name. I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah. know the story. I can't talk about it. Don't quote me on this, We're guys. We're out of it. We're out of it. I'm, I'm out. Don't tell me. But it used to be Monkey Fist. Now yeah. it's Middle Coast. Um, the beer has carried over, so it's, it's the same beer same recipes, beer, same I believe, and same names. But this, though, guys, I got to tell you, this uh, is a seltzer. And I think me and Danny are pretty damn good at evaluating seltzers. We've done a lot of them on this channel. We're seltzer connoisseurs. We, we kind of are. So this channel should be seltzer connoisseurs, to be honest, because we do this <laughs> on a daily basis. Yeah. We haven't had a seltzer in a while, but it was interesting. We went downstate to, what, Fenton for Al and yep. Katie's wedding, or one of our best friends. Shout out, Al! Katie. Shout out to Ellen Katie. Hope you're watching us. Anyways, they're married now. And <laughs> now we are considering how have we overlooked these seltzers? Because we have had two so, of these seltzers. Well, go ahead. And so the we have three seltzers that were given to us. Samples. Samples. Yep. And they sat in our fridge. For a long and time. And I'll say like Middle Coast. We're not the biggest fans on their beer. Right. We had an IPA at the IPA Challenge in Travers that was very good. Last year. But, so the seltzers, we were kind of just like, they were sitting in our fridge, and we're like, meh, whatever. So we brought them down state, yep. and we decided to, like, open one. And it was a cranberry something. It was good. And it was good. It was so good. And there was, like, a cucumber lime yeah, or Dan something. Yeah, Dan the next day took a cucumber or something. I don't know. To... Shout out to Johnny. Ja me and John drank it. Yeah, Man, they, like, I'm... drank it on the golf course. It was so good. So um, I only had, like, a sip of the cranberry one. Right. Didn't have any of the cucumber one. And now we got a... That's the last one. Tart, Tart sweet cherry. So that's fitting for Traverse City. So the cherry's Ugh. hit and miss for me. Cherry's hit and miss. Um, seltzer game, very competitive. Seltzer game, very tough to compete with. Mm -hmm. This is 5%, right on par. 109 calories, so not under 100 or 100. 109, less than 5 milligrams sodium, 2 carbohydrates, 2 sugars, and that is that. Oh, Here not the sugar. Pure Michigan on the back. Absolutely pure Michigan. Poor Michigan beer. Boom. Yeah. Let's see I what... Look at... I'm going... Oh, you're just Michigan now. This is a Michigan channel, guys. I'm sorry. This is pure <laughs> Michigan. And if you don't enjoy it, see your way out. And next week, we'll be in Marquette. Yes, we will be in Marquette next year. Next year? I said that. And I didn't mean it. Next week. So, Wowza. not... Clear, kind of has like a little pink it's not to it. Clear. So you gotta look at the ingredients. What's going on in this ingredient label? I don't know. Boop. Pure water, alcohol from sugar, cherry concentrate. Okay, so that's got to be that. Natural flavors, citric acid. Okay, it is what it is. And this is not a vodka soda. It's a seltzer. It's a seltzer, and the can matches. So we got this little off, pinkish, whitish head, not head, but. Color. color going on you got a little bit of a ring of head i do not good carbonation streaming to the top this might be a year old i don't know this this literally could be a year old there's no date i'm not worried no. about it because this is a seltzer yeah. guys seltzers hold up it's not a problem um tart sweet cherry i mean kind of like i don't know oxymoron going on there i don't know what's going on here but let's try it out it's it's uh it's middle coast guys pure michigan let's give it a little aroma cheers though first oh yeah Smells like cherry. Smells like, smells like sweeter cherries. I mean, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it even smells too artificial either. It smells, it smells well, good. it smells good. It smells crisp. But see, again, cherries hit and miss for me. Cherries hit and miss for me. So this is a big one, Middle Coast. You crushed it on the first two. I didn't review them. But I'm giving you a shout out if this is killer. Let's go. This is the Middle Coast Hard Seltzer. We're going to get along. We're going to get along. Cherry's hit and miss. I liked For the me, cranberry one. I mean, I had like literally a sip off the dance and the cranberry one was really it good. It was unbelievably good. And I'm just going to say, tart sweet cherry. That's, that's. It kind of has like a whiny. It does. Like and that's the like only rose. thing. Like <clears throat> rosé. And that's the only thing 
I was going to say that I dislike about it. It's a little bit whiny, but you're not getting this like crazy, like sweet, no. nasty, yeah, like, I mean, even, syrupy taste. Even for like having two grams of sugar, so it's a little more than probably, I mean, they some of the this. seltzers are like zero. It's not overly sweet. No. It's not like crazy artificial or anything. I think tart sweet was fair to say. They're somewhere in the middle for sure. This isn't overly tart. It's not overly sweet. It dries out on the back it's end. Kinda it's kind of like crisp. a rosé. It's really weird, guys. You could you could call this the uh, rosé hard seltzer from Middle Coast, and I believe you. I think this this yeah. is good. I would still think this is but good. But it's super, like, clean, refreshing. It's not, it's like, fine. overpowering or anything no, like that. No, it's, it's, it's good. Um, the cherry, I'm not getting a ton of. That's my first critique. Like really but faint. I'm telling you right now, the other ones, so this isn't fair because we didn't review no. the other ones. We decided to review this because the other ones were so good. I would say that this stacks up maybe a little bit lower than the other ones, yeah. but this is still good. I yeah, mean, it's, these the guys other get ones it. had like a ton of flavor. This one's like slight flavor. There's so many hard seltzers that aren't right on the market. And I just got to say the Middle Coast, I might not love your beer 100%. There are a few I do like. But the seltzer game, I think you totally get it mm -hmm. and understand it. And I think you guys are nailing this thing right on the head. This is one of the most underrated seltzers. If we're talking about the other ones we've had, too, that mm -hmm. were not reviewed, they're underrated. I mean, and people should yeah. know about these. These are very good. I like that they're drier. I do not like that overly sweet artificial taste. These do not have that. But it's still bringing this flavor boom to the profile on it. I mean, this is right for me. Agree. I agree. I, I mean, so what do you think? Anything else to say on this one? Nope. We don't do ratings on seltzers, so... Yes, we do. No, we don't. We... I'll, I'm going to. Okay, you can rate it. I'm not going to rate it. Well, I mean, I guess I don't remember, like, doing a White Claw one, so... No, we if don't do ratings. this stacks up the White Claw, I think this has... a. Di it's just a different angle on the flavor. Like, there's... I've never seen cherry, anyways, in White Claw. So I think they got this good. It's not overdone. It's not artificial. It's not nasty. I could drink two or three of these and not be mad about it. But, yeah, rosé. Maybe call this rosé. I don't, I don't really know. Um, the presidential debates are up. I don't know. For me, guys, this is going to be, like, a top-notch seltzer. I won't even rate it. I'm not going to rate it. In my book, they're top-notch. Would you agree? Sure. You wouldn't. I mean, I don't think this one. This flavor maybe isn't the best one, but yeah. if we're talking about a fair review, the rest of their flavors were fantastic. So I think that they get this game really well, and they hit it right in the head. Uh, tart, sweet, cherry, hit and miss for me. I still call it hit for me. So, Middle Coast. You guys keep doing your thing. Actually, let's go, let's go to Middle Coast. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. And see if there's seltzers on. Sure. We'll talk about it. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. It's been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. Remember, guys, drink local, support local. This is pure Michigan and poor Michigan. I'm over and out. Cheers!